In this video we will have a quick introduction to the Page Properties Palette. The Page Properties Palette is bottom center. Let's expand the palette so we can see it better. Note that the settings that you are seeing are the settings for the current page. The Page Notes tab is where you can add notes about the page. Often overlooked, this facility is really useful for making notes about what's going on in the page for different audiences. You may want to create notes for stakeholders, designers, developers. These notes can be output into specification documents which you can tailor for different groups. More on this later. Page interactions. If you want interaction to happen between pages, you need to use page interactions. Common interactions are fired on page load, for example. Uh, common usage is to highlight wayfinding elements in menu masters when the page loads by using variables. It's all quite tricky stuff, this. Um, we'll learn more advanced interaction techniques like this later on. The page style tab. Page styling is largely just formatting. Uh, the Page Styling tab allows us to add rules about formatting that will apply to the page and widgets on the page. We can overrule these rules at the widget level, of course. You can create custom page styles, which you can apply to your pages. This is recommended because we are setting rules at the highest level, which we can overrule at the widget styling level if required. Page alignment is a useful feature to pick up here. Bear in mind, whilst working in the actual UI, the page is always aligned to the left, irrespective of what you choose here. Centering will only affect the prototype when you run it in the browser. Sketchiness is another point of mention. This helps communicate to stakeholders or users that we are in the early stages of the design process and that we aren't wedded to our design just yet.